Had a great career, won a lot of games. Um, just had a lot of fun and uh, got to the NFL. It's, uh, struggled a lot, you know, not as, as as personal goals, but just as team goals. You know, I lost a lot of football games. And finally, now I'm, I'm to the point where I'm on a good team. Uh, we have something really good going, and, and guys are really excited about it. Expectations going into the season is just to progress, to get better, uh, to not take a step back, was to be better than what we were last year because we know that everyone's have, to, you know, our, the target is on our back now, and we're not going to sneak up on anyone. I saw you talking to Rod Woodson uh, on the field a while ago. Then he's trying to get into coaching. Is he giving you advice? I mean, what's it like talking to him? Um, you know, he's learning, and, and I'm learning from him. I'm trying to see what he sees from a, a player standpoint. And he's, he asks me questions how I see, you know, what our defense is doing and how we interact and chemistry. And, you know, so those things are really good for both of us because, you know, he's learning from the coaches. I'm learning from him. And uh, it just helps everybody having a Hall of Famer, and, you know, especially when um, you have a guy that's a defensive back. You know, it's a Hall of Famer helping guys out. You got Chad, or you got Ocho Cinco, and then you got T.O. now. Does that make you better in practice covering these guys every day? Yeah, it does. It helps because uh, I'd rather play with those guys than against them. What's your fondest memory playing at Marshall? Um, man, I'll say when uh, Stan Hill had to play uh, versus Miami, Ohio. To win, to win our division and go to the MAC championship, and we won uh, because there was a pass interference called, and then we scored the next play and we won the game.